I'm a farmer. I'm a farmer who loves digging ponds. I'm a farmer who loves wildlife, who likes seeing birds flying. I dug my first pond when I was seven with my pocket money. And uh, so I kept digging ponds and every March I get a bit fed up with the weather and dig another pond. So I've probably dug about a hundred odd by now. So today we're in um, deepest West Wales really, so Cardiganshire, uh, only a few miles inland from the sea, um, which is great for duck because anything passing through pops in, you know, we've got 40, 50 pools here on site, so, um, you know, a lot of species of duck, obviously mainly mallard, but teal widgeon and a lot of geese as well, so it's good throughout the season, everything pops in really. Yeah, the shoot's been going for over 30 years really, so long before I've, I've been on the planet. Um, Dad started up a while ago just as a little hobby and it has snowballed since then really. With the marshes and everything, the amount of ponds we've got, ducks was the way to go. We're very fortunate with the land we have to do a proper job of it. Dad's been here since he was born really, uh, but he's been digging ponds flat out all over the county. So, I mean, the great thing about that is when we do one drive, it's not like the most people do a duck drive with one pond you know one drive here could include 10 different pools being flushed from 10 different angles and and that's why it's nice because it's not just birds coming one way one second you're shooting them here next from there and curling all over the place so it's quite a well quite a pleasant experience really my fascination has always been wildlife to see it thriving see it flying any spare money I have goes into lapwing conservation and that spare money comes from shooting and of course we, we all do it, we all look after our environment, look after what's here. So if I if I'd never seen a lapwing I'd be a wealthier man but if I don't do something about it they will be extinct in Wales in a remarkable time. Yeah, well you see where we're stood now, we do we can do a couple of different drives in this pond on the on the bog as we call it. We usually start here. Uh, there's probably about one, two, what about 10, 12 different pools we can use in this drive in particular. Um, a lot of snipe in the area, a lot of everything really, so it's just the perfect habitat and also it's not like standing on the peg, the pheasant's gonna come over, you know, the ducks see you and they turn away. So obviously there's a lot of shrubs and bushes we can hide behind. It's it's, it's ideal really. huge, huge numbers of wild birds here, so people say, why would you bother to release? Well, I'm not a parasite. I'm not going to kill great numbers of wild birds. Uh, and why do our birds fly the same as wild birds? You, you can't, you, you really can't tell the difference. Um, probably because of the breeding, we only breed from wild stock. They're out on the pools very early. They're never short of food. The last time we tagged birds, they were shot in Ireland, Anglesey, all over Cornwall, you name it. So they are like a truly wild bird. They are a truly wild bird.
second day of the season, second shoot here, and they're, well, as wild as you'd want them, really. You know, there's no, there's no trouble with getting them up or anything, and they're up and away, and if anything, too, too wild for the beginning of the season, really. Uh, but that's the way you want ducks to be when it's done properly. for all different types of guns really. We've got teams coming, um, you know, we've got some teams of guns that's been coming here for over 30 years from when Dad started, still booking the same dates because the quality of what we do really, it's worth, it's worth the six hour drive. A lot of teams from abroad coming in as well and it doesn't really matter if someone's getting into the sport and it's their first season or whether they're, you know, seasoned vet, um, you know, it's good to have new people and shoot all the time. I hope, I hope you've enjoyed the video, um, it's as good as it looks really, I hope you'll come and visit us and we do look after people, if you're not so mobile it's not a problem, if you're a novice it's not a problem and you will enjoy your day here.